Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me. We are back with another episode of a poly roll which is a fun 2d platformer much in the same vein as sonic the hedgehog of sega fame that's what we do here we take some amazing new modern games that have been inspired by retro games and show them off here like i said we are on a poly roll it's uh, very fun we are going to go into poly raleigh Polly Raleigh Opolis, I am going to say what that is, and the fun thing is, when I loaded up this saved game, we are at 50% of the completion, and so we've got a lot left to do, and it's been a lot of fun, a lot of really good, really solid, uh, interesting mechanics, and I have been uh, truly impressed with what they have done here and i um, excited to see what else they have here uh what they have in store so i'm curious what these no and yes signs are i wonder if they actually mean something or oh that was not a good idea or um just like roads are supposed to be like road signs i'm not sure and i don't like those little uh pig card things they're fairly scary uh so let's try to stay up as best we can Ooh, that fence is fun a little spinny uh all the way around into oh no we did not go all the way around and that is a death okay so eventually there is no ground that is a, a very good thing to know uh so we've got to stay up as high as we can it looks like uh with the uh, pig robots pig car things down there as well as uh, eventually we get to water yeah there's a look this look like pig cars with spikes on them that is probably the best explanation I can give of those uh, so we've got to oh what is oh oh that's interesting I can control that now that is a very cool mechanic something that uh, I would not have expected uh, for a game like this that's and I'm gonna have to time it right and that was a wrong time uh, one of the interesting things that they have done um, as you go from retro games into the modern games is that uh, there's a lot of less focus on life uh, you know having X number of lives in a game uh, that was um, some would say a product of uh, arcades because in an arcade the best thing and what they wanted you to do is put another quarter in that was the whole point of an arcade is that you would put another quarter into the machine so to do that you needed to have lives that expired and that is one of the things that uh a lot of Nintendo games and early um, console games had is lives and as the um, uh, gaming progressed the concept of having lives has dropped away now I don't know if it is for the good or for the bad really if uh, lives are important I think there is definitely some aspect oh there we go look at that that's kind of nice and you notice that these are orange and these are green so that tells me that there was something here that was special to get and i just kind of held the little power up button and whoop, went up and got that that's kind of cool i want to know if i can kill these guys yeah okay if i if i spin into them like that that'll kill them let's give a give these wheels a whirl um, not sure how to do that, but I could try. Oh, there we go. That's kind of cool. That is another really interesting mechanic. But, uh, yeah, lives, there has been kind of a, um, a, not a push away from them, but definitely, uh, more modern games, um, have less of a... Uh, focus on lives and uh, yeah that may be good that may be bad not a hundred percent sure uh, but um, 
there has definitely been a change in that and i think as sometimes i think that it is a bad thing i think that um having that was yeah that's what i expected it to hit me and hurt me um oh i'm gonna have to oh let's just yep yeah i think what i'm gonna have to do is that nope nope that's not the way to do it that is so not how i was supposed to do that how am i gonna supposed to get around these without dying that's ouch nope yeah we're not doing well here um but anyways lives lives are important um one of the things that i mean people often complain about having lives and dying and having to restart and that stuff and only a certain number it continues and i get it it is frustrating at points especially when you're struggling but another aspect of it is that you learn i think see if i go back here and if i got stuck and i died a bunch of times and had to go back so i would be able to go back and i'm warping here but i could practice some of these early levels and end up getting better and better and my skills become better on the early easy levels so that when i get to the hard level it's not as difficult and i think there is warrant in that there is something there that's tangible and useful there i think uh to be able to practice those levels or be forced to practice those levels um i think there's a benefit in that and i think that we throw that away a little too quickly uh when we go into you know oh you know just you don't have a number set number of lives you just uh you know you just live forever or whatever and oh okay this is an interesting kind of cool new mechanic too nice i like it actually um it'll go so if i jump off it goes the speed at which the light is that's kind of neat i probably should have stopped it on the way back or stopped it um uh, you know right there at the edge so that if I had to go back I could pick it back up but um, you know so the so the lives are sort of important if you if you look at it I might be able to hit this guy if I have the spikes on uh, is there anything down here I kind of want to see like I'm thinking maybe there's a a power-up or something down here or one of those little crystals maybe I don't know it just seems like there would be there um, so there in my opinion there is a benefit uh, oh, 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 uh, For you know having that life system going I think that uh, being able to uh, You know practice those early levels allows you to use the difficult uh, or the more advanced um, Techniques movement techniques jumps that sort of stuff uh on the easier levels so that you have a better handle on it and then when you are in a place at which you you know are at a more difficult you know world or more difficult board then you will be more easily able to do those um you know those uh power-ups or those special jumps or whatever and be able to you know more accurately be able to oh there's a car coming um am i supposed to hit the car okay 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 yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. hit him but i have to jump on a car to get to it okay i got gotcha, you i got gotcha. you oh okay so we're gonna have to jump on the car and then jump there we go we got him but he's gonna throw out little fireballs gotcha 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 okay can i let's just do that again then if he's gonna if it's gonna stay there let's hit him again i love the bosses on this game very very uh impressive oh they're going really fast now um impressive bosses here um that they've had with this uh game and what they have done with the game and really neat so yeah if you if you want to put down in the comments your thoughts about lives and how the um games have um you know steered away from having lives in the games and you know a life system i'm not sure that uh, pigs are gonna get me um 
I think in aspects, some aspects, it's good to have that because sometimes you're right, it's really frustrating to have two lives and then two continues and you have to play the first board over and over and over again. But I think there is an aspect of learning those first boards and being able to practice on that, so to speak, and then be able to go further with the more advanced stuff later on. But let's see, we are Frozen Desert, which actually sounds like an oxymoron. Uh, we need to see if we can find some more of those uh, little uh, gems because I would really like to be able to open up all the areas. I'm not very much of a completionist, but I would like to see the different areas. I've been so impressed with every board and level and everything. I almost came down on those bikes. Um, been so impressed with everything. I kind of like want to really, oh, I don't know if I can make it back up there now. Um, oh, can I just, yeah, sit. I want to kind of stand right there so that I can go. Oh, that did not work at all. So can I go, there we go. Okay, we can go, I'll walk back up it. That worked. Um, so I would like to see the different boards and the different uh, themes that they have here because I've been so absolutely impressed with the difference and the different things that they've ha done here. Uh, we're gonna go down here and see what we can find and then maybe come back up if, at pos if possible because they hide the little gems everywhere everywhere you think they could possibly be uh in little itty bitty spots um and i'm not sure i'm gonna get one here we might at some point have to go back and find some not sure about that but uh we'll have to see let's see what we got we are at a dead end here but i really would love oh gosh give me at it oh there is one right there let's see if i can hit this oh ah oh, you know what i bet you're supposed to bounce on those and get that one Ah, oh, that's so frustrating sometimes you're so close to getting it and it's not letting you go through um that's that's devastating uh in my opinion i'm so close i could add it uh but uh we, we can come back through or or find another we have not been very far off which is something that i've been very impressed i really don't like um collectathons i lost it right there it is the collect there's the other one too we got two of them now that we could find um i really have not been a big fan of collectathons and you know having that gate where you have to collect so many um never been a real big fan about that but i've been very impressed with this game in that it's never required that many i have never been that far off of what was required so i am at 27 and there is, the next gate is 30 and there has been several levels where i have been um you know have had zero uh crystals found so they're really not requiring a lot which is um something that i'm very impressed with that they have just been you know requiring a few but it's not that hard to get through that and most of them so far there have been two heart levels one of which has been a very big pain um but there's only been two heart levels and the rest have been like a, a another way to go through the world it hasn't been something that's been detrimental well there has been two in here i kind of want to go through here again because those seem like very easy to get and if I could just get through here, I feel that I could be able to get those without too much trouble, I believe. There is a magnet here. Um, I'm not sure where this is gonna lead me, but we're gonna try to be up high here on this one and then come back through. I'm not sure how that's gonna help. That was very close. Right there's the bomb that we need. And I know that we get it from below. Ooh, I just barely landed on that. Oh, got that one. Sweet. Okay, so we got that one. We just got to find the bomb, which was, where was that? 
I think it was down oh, Shoot, where did I get those bomb ones? It wasn't this way. I think this is the way out Let's see if we can back up a little bit because they were so close together I thought we'd be able to get them fairly easy uh, Did I get the bombs? Just before that I think I did I think yep there it is Yeah, that wasn't bad let's go back up going up and then if we can hold on to these ball oh no I was so close all I needed to do was get that but we got one oh, I am not gonna kill myself uh, don't want to do that oh that was some nice moves there I can go through and get that one I know I can but we're at 28 we only need that's why i wanted to get those two because i felt that they were not very difficult to get um and that would give me the 29 that's needed um to get there's one that's earlier i don't know where it would be but um there's definitely one earlier that i'm missing uh but if we get these two that'll put me at the 29 which puts you you know really close to being able to um make that next um whatchamacallit that's yeah i want to be down here uh the next uh blockade ah shoot that's all right eyes good eyes good i'm actually gonna take this up and kill all these first uh because i don't want to get hit oh, yeah that's cleared out i don't want to get hit by this guy oh come on I need to like be spinning when he comes up. Ah, no, no, I'm gonna mess around and die here, ain't I? Uh, yeah, there we go. That's how we do it. That's the way we do. Oh gosh, and we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Yeah, there we go. Got him. Oh, I do it, to friggin'. I can do this. Oh, I so want that. It's such an easy one to get to. Okay, I can do it. I have all the faith in me. They're not too difficult normally. Most of the time it's about finding them. Um, a few times it's been about getting to them, but a lot of the time uh, it's just been a basic uh, find them. And once you find them, you can uh, more than likely get to where you need to be. Let's go down here and I want to drop. Yeah, drop down here. This is where I want to be. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, yes. Up here. Honk on you guys. Okay, just there we go. Get him. And then I could just do the same up to this guy. Watch out for that snowflake. Special snowflake guy. There. Got all of you. Wait, no, there's another guy here. Oh, I jumped right over him. That doesn't really help me any. I want you dead so that I don't have to worry about you when I come back up to get the... I think that will work. Set this up and we should be good. There was also... Looks like there was something over here too somewhere. Like how am I supposed to get those right there? That seems like a... Like a... Like one... Maybe the magnet is how I'm supposed to get those. Because I do can get a magnet up there. Okay, so we got the bombs. I could do this. Now we just got to make our way. One thing that I keep on getting messed up is there's no running and there's not a run button in this game like you would think in Mario. For some reason, I keep on wanting to run and that just does, it doesn't work. Oh gosh, we missed a person. Should be able to bump on him too. Not too terribly difficult. There we go. Got to blow that up and there should be... Oh, it's not at all what I expected to be there. <laughs> oh man now what oh there it is oh that's i need to get up there okay so we bombed it let's see if we can get up there now we have bombed the casing now we just have to get this is a little bit more difficult than what i thought but i think we could do it all we have to do is get back up here i don't need the bombs anymore but i do need to get back up to where those there we go this should get us up yeah there we go oh there's one in the back that hasn't been found yet oh those are the two top ones interesting i like also that it shows the order of them 
That is very nice and helpful as well. We should be able to make this pretty easily now. As long as we can survive. And I don't think there it is much of a question in that. Found it. I have one, very few of them. I gotta say very few of them have I found all three of them. And there you go. That's the 30 we need to find the uh, extra area. Awesome. I like that. That's just it. It's just it's just enough to provide a challenge, but not too much where you're like, oh man, I'm you know, I can't ever get enough of these crystals to go on. So this will probably just open a new area. Uh, that's what it has a lot of the time. So yeah, Sky Bridge is just a whole nother area. We're gonna check out, see if we could run through a desert, frozen a desert two really quickly. And I don't know if there's going to be a uh, boss in here or not, but we will find out. I am, again, I am so impressed with this game. And look, we got a whole different uh, feel for this level. It's snowy, it's cold, it's, it's uh, s snowing right now. So uh, the other levels have just been very thematic and very fitting. And it's just been super impressive and uh how they've done this oh we made it through yay um i see you little snowflake man little snowmate mom snowflake monster oh we got all kinds of stuff and i uh, try to pick up what's there when i get to a power up because i feel that they're giving me power up for a reason somewhere down the line here very closely um i'm probably gonna need that power up and that's the way i feel about uh, the game it just I, I just feel that it's going to I'm gonna need that very soon and I do there is something over there and I need to find it I want to find it so what I'm gonna do is do this little that should get me ah yes there we go it's that little stuff I didn't find all of them but there we go we found that little bit of uh, you know that little secret that little hint off to one side we we're able to find and ah shoot i knew i was going to get hit on that one uh let's go point more of those and i have no idea where i'm supposed to be going uh i don't see any levels or or ground and that's always um concerning when <laughs> when i don't know where the ground is always the thing to be worried about when you don't know where the ground is oh snow uh, there's got to be something down here yeah if I could jump through it that's like the sand is there not oh, I'm really surprised there's not anything down there um, like the sand yeah yeah like that sand in one of the other areas that's kind of a nice little snowy area that's cool I like it Ooh, eh. uh, more icicles icicles oh he got me oh i can't even hit them when i'm spinning that's rough but we made it we made it through yeah sweet we're gonna get to the boss with like no hearts though that's always a a difficult situation when you start the boss uh level with the no hearts okay do we got another one or oh let's get something i wish they had hearts on this one uh all it does is give you the power different power-ups which is nice to start a level with power-ups but um oh there's um only two in that one that's kind of neat and this one's going completely kaiwi castle um completely different way than this sky bridge let's try out what this sky bridge is and see where this takes me uh real quick we can probably get another oh it's a frozen sky bridge God, there's something right there and okay so we're gonna have to figure out how to get into there um how in the world am i gonna get back there that is a uh, very tricky oh nope okay so there is nothing here and there is how in the world are you gonna get that that just seems really like impossible <laughs> honestly man that's just like you're gonna have to need the, the the feather i think to start that so that you can oh gosh this is insane uh so you can start the level with the uh you know that soft float down 
Okay, I really, yeah, I don't like landing on single step platforms. There we go. We got a couple hearts down under our belt. We should be good. Oop. Okay, let's go for another ski jump. Ski jumps are kind of neat too. I like, oh, nope, not exactly what I was expecting, but hey, sure. Well, yeah, we got a, that is not the right thing to do. I, I saw the explanation point and panicked. Uh, we got to stop. No, we should have just kept on going. That would have been the right choice. Woo. All right. Because sometimes you just don't know what your momentum is going to take you, whether your momentum is going to take you over the cliff or into the cliff. Sometimes that is a difficult, uh, you know, thing to know and to recognize as you're coming up. Ah, shoot, I got hit. I'm going to hit you back, buddy boy. Let's see. So this is going to take me. Oh, there is a. Here we go. Showed you that nice little line, too. I bet you anything, that's where one of the question marks are, right th up there in that area. Okay. Or not one of the question marks. Well, I don't know why I said question marks. I meant the uh, uh, crystal things. Um, it just looked like a perfect place for them. Oh gosh. What's going on? We got a bunch of ski lifts. Oh, hi. Anything up here? Nope. Okay, more. Got more here. Let's see if we can bust them. I'm just, I, they have done it be, to me before where there's, and there might be one way up there somewhere. Um, you could jump on them and they come up to you. So you just keep on bouncing higher and higher. And you end up getting, uh, you know, in one of those crystals sometimes up there. Okay, well, there's Sky Bridge. Oh, we got another heart one. We got to see if we can do that heart palace. This takes me back down to Frozen Desert and then on so let's try that heart palace one quick time the second heart palace i could not do it was so oh yeah i forgot we gotta run it's always been a hurry thing oh gosh this is not gonna be good um oh no oh no <laughs> no how in the world there we go we got through it Woo we yeah that was a where do I go though? Am I going up? Am I going down? Am I going left? Let's go. I'm trying to hurry, man. Oh, you got one of these things again. Ah, oh, no. That's the thing in that other one that I was having so much trouble with is that you, um, we're gonna have to see if we can, oh gosh, this is gonna be impossible to get through. It's gonna, there we go. Um, where is it? It's, it's this bouncing thing that was up here so hard to get through. You've got to time it like perfectly to get your guy to be on that one, hit the bottom one and to be able to come out and not hit the top one. It is just ridiculous. You know what? I want to know if I could. I bet you, I wonder if you can go up that way. I'm going to try. I don't know. I feel that I've like, I feel like I should be able to, but maybe not. I don't know. I've wasted too much time trying that, but I feel I feel that that is a way. But man, if this is this is like oh the bouncing, you're never. How in the world am I gonna get through that? I'm trying to control them, but it's just not going. I have no control over them really. I mean, I can when I'm when I'm falling, I do have a little bit of momentum to move him like left or right a little bit but uh, versus that there's really little control i have on him and just trying to get your guy so that he bounces on that well that's it for now uh we're gonna jump back out and uh see where we go those hearts that that one thing where you're bouncing up is down is so hard to get past it's almost not worth going through it uh, we'll have to try maybe again later. So in the next episode, we're going to pick up at Kiwi Castle. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. I do recommend it. There is a link down in the description to get it on Steam. Very good game. Poly roll. Awesome mechanics. Awesome levels. And uh, yeah, definitely go check it out. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all later. Bye, everybody.